Hi everyone, my name is Luc Perrault. Uh, I'm a PhD student from Polytechnic Montreal, supervised by Guillaume Alexandre Guilledo and uh, co supervised by Nicolas Souni. And this project was done in collaboration with uh, Magellan Elitier from Genetech. And today I'm presenting my paper, Center Poly Real Time Instant Segmentation Using Bounding Polygons. The main motivation for this paper is that instant segmentation, the natural evolution of object detection, is a much more complex task. But it's also very useful when you think about applications like automated driving and uh, other advanced driving assistance systems. So with this in mind, we propose a fast instant segmentation method that uses bounding polygons instead of masks to speed up the process, and also to, in order to better segment uh, the, uh, the overlapping objects, we propose a, um, a relative depth prediction that is trained with weak annotations. As a baseline for our model, we use the uh, object detection method CenterNet, uh, which detects objects by uh, their center key point. So CenterNet first produces features with a CNN backbone, can be a ResNet or stacked hourglass backbone, something like that. Then using three network heads, then produces an object center heat map uh, with a height for each point, which produces a bounding box, as well as a refinement offset for when we upsample uh, the, uh, the final feature map into an image. So here is an overview of our model architecture. As you can see, uh, we build upon a center net by adding a polygon regression head, which produces a, a polygon volume. A relative depth head, which produces a single depth value for each location on the feature map. And we also remove the width and height head, um, simply because we no longer produce money boxes. So as we just saw on the previous slide, uh, we, we produce a polygon volume. But during training, the evaluated polygons are the ones located at an object center. So we produce a mask to, uh, to hide the values of the other uh, polygon in the polygon volume. Um, and we do that because during inference, the uh, polygons we'll use are the ones that are uh, at, at an object center's location. So here is um, uh, an equation of the full uh, training loss. So basically, the heat map loss is the same as in center net, so it's the focal loss. And uh, all the other losses are L1 losses. And we also have uh, weights for each loss, which you can, uh, if you want the implementation details, you're very welcome to check our code on GitHub. So for training our uh, relative depth uh, branch, uh, we need some ground truth. And so this ground truth is not directly available. We do not use uh, any depth uh, annotations. But we use the fact that in several data sets, the annotators uh, segment objects that are further in the image first and that are um, closer after. So we use the order of appearance of objects in an image from further to closer as weak, uh, as weak depth annotations. So as relative depth annotations, in other words. Um, so for the polygons, uh, to facilitate learning and modelization, each polygon has a fixed number of vertices. And we try to create our ground truth so that the corresponding uh, vertices in each object tend to represent the same concept in others. Uh, this is not enforced, uh, but it tends to be uh, this way. To train the polygons, uh, we needed a way to, um, to go from mask annotation to polygon annotation. And the method we found is that starting from a mask, we will trace a bounding box around that mask. And then we will trace uh, lines at regular intervals in the bounding box, starting from the top left corner and going clockwise. And uh, we will select uh, the, the vertex, which is the first point on the line that is within the instance mask then going from the bounding box towards the center. And so, of course, the interval around the bounding box changes uh, depending on the number of vertices we use in the method. Uh, the number of, uh, of vertices is uh, an I parameter that can be adjusted. So to evaluate our method, we use three urban scene instant segmentation datasets, so the very popular uh, Cityscapes dataset. Uh, we also use uh, PT, which is very popular, a uh, bit less for uh, instance uh, segmentation, but which is very known. And uh, also India driving, uh, the India driving dataset, also known as IDD. Here are our results on all three datasets. Um, so first, we can see that we are the best uh, performing method for instance for fast instance segmentation. Uh, second, we can see that there is still a lot of room for improvement. Uh, when we compare with uh, slower methods and mask-based methods, uh, due to the difficulties that uh, polygon-based methods have with working with the metrics AP and AP50, 
uh, which are pretty demanding metrics. So here we can see some qualitative results of uh, center poly. And we can see that, uh, so the detections are very good and the rough segmentations are good, but uh, it's, it's still uh, pretty rough segmentations and uh, our method cannot really compete against the um, mask-based methods if, you want, uh, if we want uh, really finer uh, segmentations. So in this ablation study, um, we first tested the number of vertices so we ended up using 16 vertices for the main results uh, due to the fact that at 32 the AP no longer increased. We also tested some implementation choices. Um, so mainly the we used the center of gravity uh, of the masks rather than the center of the bonding boxes for, uh, to produce the, the center heat maps. And also we use uh, elliptical Gaussians, which are the form of the, 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 the aspect ratio of the, the mask rather than the using circular um, Gaussians, like in Santa. So we also tested the contribution of the depth branch. And um, as well, we tested some um, some faster backbones. And we can see that using uh, ResNet 50, so we can double the speed and only reduce like three points in AP. But um, so, we, so this is a pretty, uh, pretty good compromise. But if we use a ResNet 18, uh, the AP drops uh, al almost uh, half, and uh, the speed uh, is faster, but it's not really uh, worth it. It's no longer worth it, in my opinion. The greatest limitation of our method, in my opinion, is the roughness of the segmentations. And uh, it shows in the AP, which is a very strict uh, metric, going up to uh, AP 95. So, of course, if, you, if you're going to have um, polygons with uh, straight lines between vertices, uh, it's going to be really hard to have a good score with that. So rather than a fine segmentation method, we see center poly as an improved object detection method, uh, producing a bounding polygon instead of a bounding box at almost no cost. In conclusion, uh, we presented a novel real-time instant segmentation method that segments objects using bounding polygons in their relative depth. And uh, center poly ranks first among real-time instant segmentation methods on the popular cityscapes, Kitsi, and IDD datasets. Uh, for future works, uh, we might see better vertex selection, object border detection for border clipping, and uh, tracking integration, and much more. Also, uh, we acknowledge the support with Natural Sciences and Engineering Research Council of Canada, and the support of Genetech. So here is the reference for the, uh, the Centinet baseline. For the complete references, please check the paper. And also, uh, please feel free to check our code at this uh, following link. So thank you so much. Bye.